So it's Lotari Sunday, and the introit, the entrance antiphon in both the ordinary and the extraordinary form, uh, tells us uh, that we are to rejoice, rejoice Jerusalem, um, because we will be comforted. And that might seem both difficult to hear and important to hear, especially during this Lent, where we're quarantined, we're doing social distancing, and all these things that are really separating us in, in a lot of ways from from so much, especially, uh, certainly in the United States, and I think in a lot of other places in the world, uh, from the sacraments. And yet, right, we have to remember that we do have reason to rejoice. St. Paul tells us to rejoice in the Lord always, in his letter to the Philippians. We're to always rejoice, no matter what, because Christ has died and Christ is risen. That Christ has saved us. This is what we're preparing for in this Lenten period. It's what we always prepare for. And, and it's why we have this moment of rejoicing in the middle before we enter into Passion Tide. Uh, the remembrance that going through the Passion leads us to the resurrection. And leads us to new life. To the tr only true reason we have to rejoice. Because it gives us the, it will give to us the divine life that will let us see God face to face. And rejoice in Him forever. And so, you know, we, we look... We can take to heart the words uh, in Nehemiah when uh, they're, they've restored Jerusalem and, and he's told rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength, you know, eat and drink and this is an acceptable time. Because as we hear at the beginning of Lent, now is the acceptable time, now is the day of salvation. Uh, the, the turning back to God, the repentance brings us to him. And so even in this time... Uh, during this pandemic, when we're 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 isolated, we're we're quarantined, where we're keeping ourselves apart, where the sacraments aren't available to us in the same way they normally are, we can still rejoice in the Lord because He has not abandoned us, because death leads to life. That's the message of the cross. That's what we're preparing to celebrate as we enter into these last weeks of Lent, into Passion Tide, into the Paschal Triduum. And even though that's going to probably be for many of us, myself included, uh, a very strange and different uh, experience this year than it has been previously, it's still the reality that Christ conquers death, and that the cross overcomes everything, and that he has overcome the world. And that's why we can rejoice even now, even during this time. We can rejoice today because Christ has conquered. We can rejoice today because we are about to enter into the most sacred time of our calendar that reminds us that through death comes life. And that's our hope always. And so it can be our hope now and our joy now in this time of difficulty, in this time of isolation, in this time of disease. May God bless you all. I'm remembering you in my prayers and my masses. Stay safe out there.